Uh, hello again. So glad you could drop in again. The son of Gerbil has requested that, uh, per the demand created over the internet, I read a second chapter from his lovely volume, Hobazol Dome, the sequel. Seventeen original illustrations by yours truly. I am John Mitchell Linden II. The chapter Mr. Gerbil has requested that I read is entitled The Protocol. The Protocol. Heaven and Hell. It's what you make of it all. With a little decency thrown in for good measure. Decency was a rare commodity indeed at the Dome. So forget the decency and the heaven and just proceed directly to hell. In a hand basket with bells on like your hair's on fire. Post haste. Pronto. Mach schnell. Hop, hop. Presto. The protocol sealed the deal. A combination of mind control and subtle indoctrination. It was as dependent on technology as neurosis. Those under its sway would consent to anything to avoid the pain of implementation. Implementing the protocol was something you just really didn't want to do. At all costs. You would duck and bob, weave and faint, lie and grovel, accept responsibility where you had none, take one for the gipper and all that other crap. Just please don't implement, for heaven's sake. The perks were excellent motivation, but when coupled with the protocol, you had a real dynamic duo. Diodato, Elvis Presley, Poopsy Poodle, whatever floated your boat and blew your dress up. And the fear, worse than hell, which, truth be told, didn't exist at all except in your mind. But what worse hell, I ask? Just comply and you'll get by and get the perks. You'll dance with jerks who like to twerk. You'll skulk and lurk, the auto turk. You'll go berserk, but back to work. Work is freedom, freedom to work. Do not shirk. It's not a quirk to believe in heaven and hell. Is it? I trust you've enjoyed this short chapter from Son of Gerbil's wonderful tome, Hobazol Dome, the sequel, available only at feederread.com. Mr. Gerbil asked that I promote his book for a moment. He could use the sales, his funds running low. And, let's face it, gerbils have a hard time writing books, so please do what you can. Thank you so much, and do stop in again. Ta-ta! the very desk where Son of Gerbil penned his marvellous tome, Hobazol Dome, the sequel. <laughs>